Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the getting started guide for the Luxfox Pico Mini B and for Luxfox Pico Pro Max, the Micro Linux development board. Okay, so previously we have covered this one. Okay, the Luxfox Pico Pro Max getting started guide for this, and also we have covered the getting started guide for this Luxfox Pico Mini B version. Now in this video, we will cover the getting started guide for this Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. Okay, now this board is having capability of Ethernet as well as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay, you can also attach the screen, you can also attach the camera and in this board, you don't require SD card because here you can see we don't have any SD card slot in this board. So this board is having 8 GB of eMMC storage. Okay, so you can boot your Ubuntu Linux inside the eMMC storage and you can use it. So to work with this board, you don't need SD card. We can directly flash the Ubuntu operating system in the eMMC storage and we can directly use this board. So let's see how you can uh, use this board. So first of all, you can navigate to the documentation page of the Luxfox. And then uh, here you can see the uh, chip on this board is RV1106G3. Okay, so whenever you work with this board, you have to refer the documentation for the RV1106. Okay, and our board is Luxfox Pico Ultra W. Now here you can see getting started tutorial and here you can see burning eMMC images. So it has the eMMC storage. So that's why you, we can burn eMMC images directly without using any SD card. So first thing first, we have to firstly install the driver. Okay, so here you can download the driver. Otherwise, you can visit our website and you can download the driver assistant from here. We have already downloaded, okay, in the software, in the driver assistant, here is the driver install.exe. You can double click and you can click on the install driver to install the necessary driver to work with the Luxfox Pico Ultra W board. Now here you can see driver installation is okay. We can press okay here and we can press close. After the first step of driver installation, you have to download the Ubuntu image for this board. Okay, so you can download from the Google uh, Drive. So I can right click and open that in the new tab. And here you can see Ubuntu images, build root and Alpine Linux. Okay, but we are going with the Ubuntu. So I will open the Ubuntu folder. And our board is Luxfox Pico Ultra W. Okay, so here you can see Luxfox Pico Ultra Ubuntu eMMC image or you can say Luxfox Pico Ultra W Ubuntu eMMC image. So if you have only Ultra module, then you can use this eMMC image. If you have Luxfox Pico Ultra W, then you can use this one. Okay, I have already downloaded this image. So let's navigate to that folder. And here you can see Luxfox Pico Ultra W Ubuntu eMMC image. And this is the files you will get inside that zip file. Okay, so we have already downloaded the firmware or you can say image for this. So we can skip these steps. And then after we have to flash the image in the eMMC. So for that, you have to download the SOC toolkit software. You can click here and you can download the SOC toolkit software. Otherwise, you can navigate to our website and here you can see SOC toolkit. So click here and you can also download the SOC toolkit. I have already keep it ready. Okay, so in the software, SOC toolkit, and here is the SOC toolkit. Okay, here is our software. Now we already know that our chip is RV1106. Okay, so we can select this chip and we can press OK. Now, right now here you can see we have nothing in the USB section. So what you can do is you can press boot button. Okay, so here is the boot button. You can see you can press boot button and you can plug this board into our system. So I'm going to press this boot button and I will plug this board into my system. Okay. And we have plugged it. And once you press boot button and you plug this board with your system, you will see Muscrome 12 here. Okay. It means that your board is detected. Okay, and now you can flash 
the Ubuntu image inside this board. After getting this Musk Chrome 12, you can click on the search path. You can navigate to that Ubuntu operating system directory. Okay, so embedded devices, Luckbox operating system, and now EMMC image for Luckbox Pico Ultra W. Okay, and I can select this folder. I can press yes. And here you can see we have total eight files. Now you have to compare the eight files with this photograph okay so we have the download bin yes we have the environment id block u boot boot oem root fps and user data so total eight files and here also we have total eight files so you have to check all the files because we are going to load all the files into our luckbox pico ultra w and then you just have to hit the download button once you hit the download button you will see that start to download and it will download all the files okay it will flash all the files for ubuntu operating system into our luckfox pico ultra w board okay right now it is getting flash and here you can see write lba from file some percentage okay so you have to wait until all the process gets done Here you can see download root fs ok start to reset reset done and download done so we have successfully flashed the ubuntu operating system inside our luckfox pico ultra w board now here you can see the red led is blinking okay for the user so let's wait for a few seconds until the operating system gets boot and then after you will hear some beep sound in your system and once you hear that beep sound you have to open the network connection okay view network connection and uh, here you can see remote ndi space ethernet sharing device so our system has successfully detected this luckfox pico ultra w board now we already know that if you are flashing ubuntu operating system inside any luckfox board then the static ip will be this one so i'm going to copy this ip and i'm going to ping that ip from my command prompt okay we are getting successful ping so we don't have to do any changes in the uh, internet sharing device or for this network and if you are not getting any ping here okay then what you can do is you can right click here you can go to properties you can go to that internet protocol version tcp ipv44 and here you can define the ip address in this range 172.32.0.xxx okay so i will specify this for you so 172.32.0.23 and then we will hit the tab okay so subnet mask will be automatically detected and we will press okay again we will press yes we'll press okay and that's it now i can try to ping again and here you can see we are able to get the successful ping so we are still connected with our luckfox pico ultra w board now i will open the terminal of this luckfox pico ultra w board from the command line so here is the command okay ssh pico at the rate 172.32.0.70 so i can clear the screen i can paste that command okay ssh is not okay it's my system issue so give me a moment i will resume this video after resolving this issue okay so we have resolved the ssh issue and now we can open the command prompt we can copy this command okay ssh pico at the red 172.32.0.70 and we can paste it here and then we can hit enter and the default password for the ubuntu operating system is the luckfox so l u c k f o x and we are logged in to the luckfox pico ultra w terminal now let's check the free space here you can see 179 MB is total. Uh, this much is available, this much is in buffer, this much is free, and this much is used. Now let's check the CPU. So ARM um, Cortex A7 CPU. So this is how you can start working with the Luckfox Pico Ultra W board. Okay, so 
to work with this board you don't require sd card because it has 8 gb of emmc storage so you can directly flash the ubuntu operating system in the emmc storage and do, you can directly use it okay so basically first of all you have to install the driver then after you have to download the image for luckfox pico ultra w board okay and then you have to flash the image in the emmc storage using soc toolkit and after that you can use the ip address okay uh this one 172.32.0.70 to ping this luckfox pico ultra w board yeah and you can only ping this board if your ndis network sharing device is available here okay it means that this board is uh, sharing its network with your system and then after you can access the terminal of this board okay we will see this board in the detail in the future videos that how you can connect the wi-fi okay using this board directly from the command line how you can add some more storage how you can work with the camera how you can work with the display how you can set the ip address of your ethernet um, and how you can access this board directly from the ethernet so stay tuned for all those future videos and if you still have any questions or any doubt in the getting started guide then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send me a comment also you can reach out to me on linkedin so let's meet in the future videos and in the future video we will see how you can erase the emmc storage in the luckfox pico ultra w so in this video we have uh see that how you can flash the ubuntu image in the emmc storage but if you want to flash the newer version of the ubuntu image or if you want to flash another operating system inside that then you need to erase the emmc storage so that thing we are going to cover in the next video okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you